Hello everybody, I just thought I'd show you how to make a drawstring bag. Now these are fat quarters um, and they're from the Pom Pom collection from the Craft Cotton Company. Now you can get them in a selection of greens and pinks or you can get them in a selection of blues and yellows. Now I've chosen to use the blues and yellows because it's very bright and bonny. And these bags have been made for the, the, the NHS scrubs. A very simple, straightforward method to make a drawstring bag. Now, uh, I've got two fat quarters here from the pack. I've got a blue and this one's the pom-pom. Now, what I want to do, I mean, you could do a, a very um, simple bag and just stitch up the, the three sides, but I just want to do it with a little bit of a difference. So what I'm going to do is measure down from the the top end of the fat quarter and I'm going to measure down eight inches because what I want to do is cut these um, an eight inch cut along this fat quarter so we can put a piece of blue on the side of the the bonnie pom-pom and a piece of pom-pom on the blue side it just gives it a nice little bit of a difference now these I'll just tell you the size of these fat quarters they are 22 by just over 18 inches so it'll give a nice size drawstring bag so I'm just going to measure now and mark the fabric from where I want to cut it so I want to mark it eight cent eight inches down from the edge it's going to be very difficult to see because it's got blue on so I want to be marking it on to the yellow so I'm measuring down eight inches and then eight inches down from the, the top edge so we leave it on to the yellow and then when you come to mark the I like to use a set square so I get the line very straight so I'm just sliding the set square along the edge like I've said in the other videos if you haven't got a set square it is a most brilliant tool to invest in because it has many many uses so measuring down again, eight. I'm going to measure onto a yellow one so when I come to cut it with the scissors I can see exactly where we are. Now I'm going to make this one very quickly on the overlocker. Uh, if you don't have an overlocker you can always sew one exactly the same way on your sewing machine. Just for the purpose of this video the overlocker is extremely quick. So I'm going to just cut along here now the eight inches that I've measured down. So there we are. So we've got one piece of blue, one piece of pom-pom. I'm going to put this blue one over the top here. And on the blue one, I'm going to put this one on the top edge here. I want to get rid of that selvage, I don't want that showing in the middle of the bag. I'll just go and get my clips because I just want to clip that together. I like to use the clips on the, on the overlocker. So what I'm going to be doing first is just putting these lines in. Not really cutting anything off this fabric, we don't want to be making this bag any smaller. So I've got all those clipped, so now I'm just going to stitch them down on the, the overlocker. Only if there's going to be anything coming off, it's just going to be a little shaving. So make sure I've got it on the right setting, so we're on normal, we're on about 3.5. So putting these things in, and with an overlocker as well, you know, it, it does actually tidy up all the edges. Using your normal sewing machine, then you would need to zigzag along here as well when you have to put your seam in. So that's one done. I'll do the other one. 
these make good little laundry bags as well when you go on holiday. I do have a few of these myself. So that's our two pieces of the bag stitch. See how quick that is actually done on the overlock. So you see I've got one piece like that and the other one in the opposite, which will look very nice when it's actually put together. So it's a good thing now. And what I like to do as well with a lot of my things is put a little ribbon in the bag. And this one says, all my, but this one is actually going to be going to the, the Lanchester Hospital. I do have a few bags ready to collect. Okay, so matching up your seams that you've just popped in. Now I'm just going to put that little tag in the bag. You can put it on the inside, you can put it on the outside. I actually personally like to see a little surprise as you open the bag. So making sure that you've got your, actually clip that in, uh, pin that in, to not get this bag clipped together. So make sure you match it on this side as well. Matching those seams, so, that you, so you've got a nice cross point on the edges. So we need to be sewing these three sides. I've left the two edges of uh, this bag uh, with the selve edges at the top so you won't have to overlock around the top edge. You can just actually fold this over ready to slide your cord or tape in. I'm just going to take that pin out and put this clip in. So this is going to be stitched now around these three sides and then we'll be ready to put the casing in for the cord. Again, don't take very much off the side if you're using your overlocker. We want to try and keep these bags as big as possible. Just coming up to the tag there, so I'm just going to carefully remove to do the other side. Well, the hospitals have been crying out for these bags. We've got a lot going off to uh, the Lancaster Road Hospital and the Middlesbrough Hospital. You can actually see how very quick they are to me for the scrub sets. I'm just going to lift the toes out there because I want that to go the other way. So now it's ready to put the casing in. to just trim those back a little bit as well. Not completely removed but just so we've got some the long tails being cut away. Right, so this gets turned through now. You can 
and say just the nice difference that gives on the side as well. It's very pretty and hopefully brighten somebody's day. So that one is like that. So now the, the tape that I have to go around the top, got a little loose one there, which I'm just going to cut on there, is a centimetre and it's a natural tape. So what we want to do is fold the bag, the top of the bag over to make sure we accommodate the width of the tape. So I've probably got the tape, the bag turned over to two centimetres and the tape's actually one centimetre. So if we pin this around the top. measuring two centimetres all the way around. So if you've got any fat quarters lying around not doing anything, brighten somebody's day up and make one of these scrub bags. This is 100% cotton. Any long parts there, just remove. So keep measuring two centimetres all the way around. So I'm just going to have the drawstring on this bag pulled from the inside. As I say, it's a very, very simple pattern. And very suitable for a beginner as well. So I want to have the draw cord to the side where when you look inside the bag, you see the little tag, which is this side. So this is the side I want my draw cord to pull from. It can be any ribbon. Just a little something when you open the bag. It's just nice to have something different inside. Okay, so I'm just going to go on the sewing machine now. Starting from this point, there's our little label inside there. So starting from this point, I'm just going to leave about an inch spacing between the two um, fabrics for to slide our cord in and ob obviously use it as a draw cord once it's completed. So I'm just going to go around now on the sewing machine. stitching on the edge of your two centimetres so there's plenty of room for the cord to slide in and out. And I think I may need a, a needle thread. I'm going to do that first. There we go. I mean, if you're using your sewing machine for this and you do have a raw edge along here, you could actually use a zigzag stitch to actually do your casing with as well. And there's no need to um, zigzag around the top before you put your casing in.
to do a little bit forward and back because at this point of the bag where you do your draw cord it is a bit of a stressing point when you are pulling the cord open and close so I'll do a few back stitches backwards and forward stitches just to secure this part of the bag Just put some extra rows of stitches on top of each other on this part. So that's all done. It's not just heavily stitched. This this section of the bag, I'll just show you in just a second when I cut these threads off. You can just see where I've heavily stitched at the sides there because these are the stressing points when you pull in a draw cord with this method. So there again, so um, in terms of cord, probably I like to do three times the width of the bag. So I'll cut it there. start it from any side and slot it through. careful when you pull that you haven't you're not going to get the all of your cord through at the end so I can actually get the ends of the cord and the knot. I'm just going to fold them ends back like that. And if I can tie a knot and get them get them encased. We don't have any frayed edges on the washed. I've got one end just slipped out there. So I've just folded the cord back like that. And then I'm going to tie a knot over the ends. Just so we can lose. And just slide the knot up to that's it so we can lose the ends of the So the ends of the cord are tied in the in the loop like that and that gives a nice finish to the end of the bag so then when you balance everything out that is the bag made for the scrubs appropriate color blue as well for the NHS so I'll just measure the finished size of this so you know what it actually ends up like. So it ends up, a finished bag, it's 20 inches by 17 and a half. So we haven't lost a great deal even by dividing the line along the middle. So this now will go on the pile for the hospital. So I'd like to thank you as well again for all of what you've sent in 
and hope we get many more for the hospitals. So I hope you've enjoyed the little tutorial and you see how very easy and fast it is to make, particularly if you've got an overlocker. So I hope you're able to make some to help the NHS. Thank you. Bye bye.